Good evening. The feud that tore apart one of North Melbourne's greatest ever sides has reared its head again. Club legends Wayne Carey and Anthony Stevens had to be separated after a verbal stoush at a western suburbs pub. 20 years after their off-field falling out shook the footy world. Adam Hegarty's in Yarraville tonight. Adam, how did the confrontation play out? Well, Pete, the first notable point is the 1996 Kangaroo Premiers were drinking here at the Victoria Hotel at Yarraville as part of their reunion function from midday on Saturday. And then it was about 6 o'clock, 6 at night, when this incident occurred. Up to three players, I'm told, including Carey and Stevens, were at the front bar. Carey, apparently the instigator, criticising Stevens about his behaviour and some things he's said about Carey in the past. And then Stevens, clearly agitated, he was ushered away away from that situation by other former teammates to another room at this hotel and then when he came back I'm told he bit back at Kerry but I'm also told that that's where it pretty much ended that there was no physical confrontation between the two but as you're about to see the impact of this incident may not have ended here. A glance at this cohort of the 96 Premiership Kangaroos and you'd think all was well. But beyond the celebratory drinks, a notable absence at Sunday's Marvel Motorcade that says more than any words would. Wayne Carey, arguably the greatest yep. player of the modern era. Wayne Carey, front and centre, but key veteran and organiser. Anthony Stevens, a no-show. The result of a Saturday night clash, not on the field, but in a front bar, and the latest chapter in their momentous falling out. The bitter feud between Carey and Stevens goes back to that now infamous barbecue at the home of teammate Glenn Archer in 2002, where the affair between Carey and Stevens' wife Kelly was exposed. What followed was Carey's exit from Arden Street. I've taken the decision to cease my playing career with the uh, Kangaroos. The King wasn't completely exiled. He joined the Adelaide Crows and in the following year came face to face with Stevens and Archer in an explosive Friday night showdown. Here's Kerry. Oh, and Stevens lined him up too. <laughs> Let there be no mistake about that. Stevens went at him at 100 miles an hour. He got another go. Kerry and Stevens have crossed paths in the years since, and those meetings, for the most part, have been civil. But in truth, all parties have struggled to rid the affair from their lives. Kelly and Anthony Stevens separated. And Kerry remains remorseful, opening up on the psychological pain during a recent reality TV series. One of the biggest story staff was when I, when I uh, slept with a teammate's wife. Whatever transpired on Saturday, it's another chapter in one of football's more unfortunate stories, gazumping what should have been a weekend of celebration. Adam Hegarty, Nine News.